He wanted to serve God for God. Look in closing, let me just say this. There is a specific thing that speaks volume about God, uh, Job's character. You know what it was? That in the face of major loss, I'm, I'm talking about major loss, and fiery accusations coming from all directions, Job maintained an integrity before God. Didn't move, was not moved by the loss, wasn't moved by the accusations, if you will. He maintained his integrity. Listen, when Satan went to God and said, hey, and accused Job before God and said, you know why Job is worshipping you? Did you know why uh, Job is loyal to you? He's only loyal to you because you blessed him. Look at the wealth, look at the family, look at his health. You take that away, watch him curse you to your face. That's what he said. Yeah. Second of all, his, his wife uh, simply accused Job, if you will, uh, or let me say this, accused the God of Job before Job. Hey, Job, why don't you just curse God and die? Why do you maintain or regard your integrity? Curse God and die? Why are you still blessing God, praying, praying to this God? Can't you see what's taking place? You're still retaining your integrity? You're still living upright? You're still eschewing evil? You're still bowing down? You have this wife to deal with. Imagine that. You're trying to live a godly life and your wife is like the world. Looking, God, looking at God like as if God is this, you know, unmerciless God. And then has these three friends or four, three, whatever, that come along, say, come on, Job, tell us. Taking cracks at him from this angle, that angle, that angle, come on. Come on, tell us what you do. Bang, bang, bang. And in the face of all that, in the face of why does bad things happen to godly people? Tell me. I'll tell you why. Because Job loved God for God. That's why. And the sinful nature of man wants to worship God for what he can get from God. And the moment he doesn't get... <clears throat> you know why Job was a righteous man? Upright before God, and God says, look, there's no one like him, not one in his day. Because he loved God for God. As a matter of fact, he went all the way to rebuke his wife and call her, you foolish woman. You want to read it? It's there, I think. But he said unto her, Thou speak it as one of a foolish woman speaketh. Today we're afraid to rebuke our wife like that. You know why? Because the pants may come up and her crawls, and then she would make him feel like, you're sleeping on the couch today. Oh, the Bible says better sleep in the, on the rooftop than to sleep with a woman like that. Because she doesn't let him be the man that God has called him to be. You're speaking like a foolish woman. Look at this. He stands up with God. What shall we he says, what? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? Look at this. And, and in all this did not Job sin with his lips. He knew what kind of world we live in. He was tested. Because the first accusation against Job was you're just serving God to get out of God. And he passed the test. He passed the test. He was serving God, listen, for God. He went as far as saying this. If God were to slay me, what did he say? Though he slay me, I will what? Trust him. Wow. <laughs> because that was the one thing, my friends, that God said to Satan, you cannot take. And by the way, fear him. Fear not him that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and soul in hell. But that was one thing that he says you're not touching. 
But even if God gave permission to Satan to take his life, he said, I will still trust him. Wow! What a man! Have you considered my servant, servant Job? There's no one like him. No. That was a man that was walking in good works in his day and loving God for God because he's merciful. You know, when you see the mercy of God in its true light, you will step back and say, I don't deserve anything from the hand of God but, but, but judgment. You know what? I, I should be condemned. I can't even believe God is blessing me. I should be condemned. Not blessed. But God has showed mercy to me. And God has showed mercy to you and me. We're still here, aren't we? God sent his son, didn't he? What, what do you want from God? What do you want from him? What would it take? What would it take for you to love God and serve God? What, what, what would it take? He's only begotten. He gave heaven's best and you're still not happy? What do you want? I'll tell you why people are not happy. Because they love their sin more than his son. But Job loved God more than his sin. And that's what makes a righteous man. To hope and trust in the Lord. For therein is the righteousness of God. Faith has always been that. Faith has always been that. Though he slay me, I will trust him. If he takes my very life, I will trust him. May God give us the grace to continue to serve the Lord in the face of adversary and love God all the way to our grave. Amen? Yes, all the way to our grave. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because he is with me and my rod and staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. See, David got it. All men of God get it. All men of God get it. They've understood his grace. They've understood his love. They've understood his holiness, everything. We don't deserve anything from God. But God has been gracious to us. He's been good to us. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him and uphold him for who he is. He's a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. And the psalmist said, Oh, how is this God mindful of me? who created the stars and the moon. He thinks about me. Wow. May God help us live to serve a God in the beauty of holiness and to fear him always, whether we are blessed with tangible things or not, with good health or not, with money or not. We should say, as we say to our spouse when we've married them, for rich or for poorer, I will serve you. And I will love you. And I will do good all the days of my life. For your glory, God. Because you're worthy. He is worthy, amen? amen. Let's pray.